Hi, this is Carl with Dexter Outdoors here in the beautiful Florida Keys with Captain Pablo Rodriguez of the Slam Time Chargers. Today we went out and got a great catch of Magi. Captain Pablo is going to show you how to play this fish two different ways. Pablo? Here's the first way we're going to do it. It's a little bit more of a traditional type of way. We're putting a slicing around the actual skin, just putting a small incision right into the skin. Come around, always remember that head meat, pretty important. Come around where that rib cage is, bring it back, meet it, and just gently peel that skin off, leaving these fibers right there. The reason why we like to leave the fibers, a lot of people like to grill mahi or blackened mahi. So by doing that, it kind of keeps that filet together. As you're grilling, or as you're blackening. Gently peel that seems pretty easy. Then I come back, nice thickness of this blade makes it to where it makes keeps it kind of even all the way down to its spinal. Same thing on the other side. You can feel because you have that thickness of that blade you feel where you're cutting. When I come back around and pull, gently pull up, you feel that rib cage, cut around that rib cage, no sign effect. Try to be as smooth and fluent as possible with that fillet. Again on this side, come around, head meat, rib cage, lift up. You feel that knife go right through that rib cage or right around the rib cage, I should say. Clean your blood off a little bit here. Come back around. Clean it up. I left a couple of the bones from that rib cage. I'm going to come right down the center, starting about here, right where that rib cage was. You can feel these bones. So you could either cut around them, and you also cut out that bloodline that's there as well. Then you cut. So now you have these perfect pieces to either grill, make a sandwich out of, blacken, fish tacos, whichever the case might be. So then, also, what you could do with these fillets is just how I I did the cut around that rib cage, or the little bones that are left. I left a couple of bones there. You could also just go straight down the middle where that bloodline is. And you eliminate the whole bloodline. Just like so. Again, you do the same cuts, ready for either fish tacos, sandwiches, grilling. And that's why we like to leave these fibers on these plates.